Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the Helm chart series videos and today I will be demonstrating about how to install Helm and along with that how to create our first Helm chart, Hello World Helm chart. So let's start from scratch. So for that you have to create a VM. So minimum size of the VM should be T2 micro. Let's go and go ahead and create. Let's go to our AWS management console. Currently, I don't have any running instances. Just click on launch instances. Let me take one of the Ubuntu server. Just click on that. And make sure going forward before installing any chart, you have to install Kubernetes on your VM. So since in this project, I'm going to create a mini cube cluster. So let as I told earlier, this size is required T2 medium so that we can create our T2 medium. Just click. Okay, next go to storage. So let's increase a little bit size. Okay, let's go to the tag. So let's do what? Let's keep it as all traffic for that time, for this time. Let's click on review and launch. Okay, let's wait until it comes up. So once our VM is up, let's name it. So once this is done, what are the things you have to do going forward to install hand chart? What are the prerequisites you have to install? Docker, you have to install. Mini cube. Okay, this is for your Kubernetes. For single node cluster. Okay, so let's go ahead and log into our VM. Okay, Log into the VM. So the VM. Okay, once this is done, we can to the super user. And once this is done, what, our, what is our first prerequisite? We have to install Docker. Okay, so let me go ahead and install a service script. So the service script, let me copy this. Make it executable. Once this is done, let's execute this. Wait for some time until this is done. So once this is done, let's verify the version. So you can see here, this is our version. In the same way, we are going to execute this cube cell script. Let's make it executable. Once this is done, let's click on that and execute it. Let's wait for a moment until it's done. Once you have executed, what you have to do, just copy this command, hit enter. Once this is done, just go for second command, hit enter. And once this is done, let's see. Just click on that kubectl version and here you can see you got your client version and here is your server version. Okay. So let's give CTL. Okay, 
so this is the default service it is running for the kubernetes cluster right now so we do not have anything at this moment okay so these two things are done right docker and kubernetes now only now you can install okay so what we have to do so here using curl we are we are getting this we are downloading this package once this package has been downloaded we are changing the permission of get helm.sh once this is done we are here starting this okay so let's run this command one by one let's go to our minikube server so click on that hit enter let's go and take the second command and let's take the both command at once hit enter okay so you can see here helm install into this it was preparing to install here uh, once it is installed in the bin you have a pro folder called helm and there you will get all your configuration related to this so once this is done let's go back what is our second agenda writing our first helm chart for the hello world okay let me clear the screen so once our once after we have installed the helm chart then we are going to create our first hello world helm chart using the following command so what is the command this is a simple command like helm you have to write t8 what is the name of our helm chart hello hello world just hit enter okay so you can see it is creating this okay so if you want to see what you can do it should create a directly like uh, hello world okay let's do ls and you can see this is your hem chart okay so we can also verify like we have created this or it was earlier existing you have to do ls lart and then you have to crep hello world is hit enter okay so you just have to remove this last thing okay once you will do you can see just now we have created this correct so once it is done so if we have to verify uh, did we got the complete directory of this hello world application or not like the way we have seen in one hour previous the last lecture right so for that what we have to do just go back here and we have to just do simple tree hello world just hit enter okay so we have not installed tree right now so let's install this so once this is done now let me clear the screen let's do tree and your helm chart name tree hello world just hit enter as you can see you got the same Helm chart structure, right? So now going ahead, we are going to change some values here. So let's do one thing. We we will change some value in values.yml and we will try to access this. Okay. So let's go inside your helm chart directory. Once you are in, just hit enter to ls. Okay, so we have to edit our values.yml first. Just hit enter so once you are here just come into insert mode let's go down so this is our service so here we have to change from clustered ip to node port so we are exposing this it's because clustered ip can be accessed only inside the cluster right but we want to expose this outside so that we can access this let me reframe this once this is done just write node node port once this is done just save and quit so in hem world we don't do like uh, 
to run and all okay so here what we have to do we have to install so how can we install you have to write m install okay and here you have to provide the release name for your first helm chart correct so what will be the name let's me type my for which helm chart you are going to create mention here okay so actually i am inside the hem chat itself right so what you have to do you have to provide the current directory here just hit enter so once you will get this message revision equals to one and these are the nodes right so means it is successful so how you can see you have to list it right hem list hyphen it will list everything here okay you can see this is your revision this is the name of your release and this is the name of your chart so once this is done we have mapped it so let's do what let's see the services which is created by m chart cube ctl get svc for services so here you can see this is your first my m chart hello world noteport application okay so we have created deployment as well so get cube city will get stick get deployment see you can see here it's running up and running okay so once you have deployed let's check like how can we access so this is our port which is by default open by node port so okay so let's 31758 along with your ip just take the public ip here and write 31758 okay just hit enter and you can see your nginx website is up okay so thanks for watching